Hi beautiful souls, is Mon here. I would like to invite you to do a group healing exercise with me to help calm down the planet and spread safety and infinite divine health. That is the objective to bring health to our planet. <music> like to invite you to do this group healing at eight o'clock today wherever you are in the world and simply choose to step up as a light worker as a powerful spiritual being who has the power to create an, a reality and alter the matter to transfer the matter from a liquid form into another form so in this case what i'm asking you to help us with and inviting you to join us to support an initiative that will transmute the energy of fear anxiety and disease in the world into the energy of divine health safety and protection that is the intention and as someone who has been going through a spiritual awakening journey, you'll be likely a no stranger to feeling like you want to contribute somehow, you want to assist the humanity, you want to help people heal. So this is your opportunity to step up as a light worker, to step in into your mission and um, really assist the planet as we go through these incredibly challenging times of healing and transformation towards something greater that will serve us in the you know for the generations to come and it's important to understand how to pray so in this quick video i want to clarify how we need to pray to pray like oh god oh universe oh source please help me to get x y and z please help my family to be safe or whatever it doesn't do you any favors if anything it actually puts you into scarcity because you are perpetuating the feelings of lack and scarcity in your prayers that's not the way to pray the way and to pray that has been actually proven um you know through the um native americans generation through the um australians aborigines and many other different native tribes and even in the science now you know the hadmad institute has released many studies around you know how prayer impacts or well-being or mental emotional sort of um health how it reduces anxiety and the way we need to pray is to basically instruct your brain as the thing we want is already done and simply offer the feelings of gratitude and appreciation for it to be already done. So like in the case of the Australia bushfires that have spread so viciously and intensely all over Australia, the messages I have been sending out to my community and sharing on Instagram, on YouTube and Facebook and other social media is encouraging people to connect with the power of emotion and direct that energy towards the end result and really show through feeling only show gratitude and appreciation and trust that the thing that we are praying for is already done so in the case of the australia bushfires basically the the prayer would sound something like this whatever you choose whatever you believe in whether you believe in god universe buddha allah whatever your preferences are I believe there is a greater power than all of us some you know out there that is helping us directing us and supporting us and um, 
I like to connect with the source energy of unconditional love and joy. And I basically bring my desire into attention. I put my hand on my heart, bring my desire into my attention. So in this case, um, I intend for the world to experience divine health and well-being, safety and protection, you know, everywhere across the world. So but you put your hand on your heart and you simply thank the divine source for it to be already done in the following way. God, divine source, thank you for protecting the whole of humanity, for making all of us healthy, safe, protected and um, for the world to return back to full health, well-being, prosperity, love and joy. Thank you and so it is done. The thing I want you to really dial up in every prayer is your emotions. Feel your heart expanding as you say gratitude. Thank you. Imagine almost like your heart opening up and expanding every time you say thank you and that energy of appreciation is literally swirling around you like a giant bubble and it gets bigger to the size of the town to the size of your district to the size of your country to the size of the whole world that energy of appreciation that you, your family, your loved ones, and the whole world is safe, is healthy, protected. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is done. That's how we need to pray. Because that is the energy that attracts what we desire. The, our emotions are so immensely powerful and praying in a way where we consider something to be already done and ours and given sends out the energy of of um, expectation focus and trust and and even safety of of the outcome the certainty of the outcome that what you are asking for you know it's already here it's done it's given and then you simply need to watch out for those times whenever fear and doubt creeps in and you need to learn to manage it through self-soothing so watch the previous video that i've shared around how to self-soothe yourself in this time of crisis that will help you to soothe any anxiety any panic attacks any fear that is coming up for you and um, you will be simply able to calm yourself down through a very quick powerful exercise and return to that place of gratitude joy love trust courage which is really a representation of an emotional and mental resilience that you are someone who is strong who is confident who trusts who feels safe who knows that things are going to return to even better place than we've ever been before as a humanity overall so I invite you to pray with us in the way how I described in this video. Consider the thing you're praying for already done. And if you want to step up as a light worker, I invite you to pray not just for you and your family, but really expand that and pray for your country, for the whole world to be healthy, to be strong, to be protected, to be safe. And really send out the energy of thank you, God, souls, universe. It's already done. We are all safe. We have come out of this much stronger, much wiser. We are in this together. We have learned to trust. We have learned to direct our mind, our emotions. And we have become much more wiser, smarter and stronger as a result. So if I leave it here. Please don't forget to join our prayer at 8 o'clock tonight, 8 p.m. GMT time, London, UK time. And uh, I would be most grateful for your support. Remember, you're not doing this for me. You're doing this for you, for your, for your families. You're doing this for your loved ones. You're doing this for your whole world, for the future generations of this planet. 
And um, I do believe that when you sense out the energy of wanting to do something for the greater humanity, the universe will give you the tools and the resources to actually support you in your purpose. And it will also reward you for the love and support and the joy that you're bringing to the world. The world needs, needs you more than ever right now. So be sure to step up as a powerful light worker that you are and help us to return to peace, harmony, safety and divine health and well-being. I'm sending you so much love, peace and joy and I look forward to seeing your comments down below whether that you will be joining us in our prayers tonight at 8 p.m. Lots of love. Bye. Thank you.